Hi everybody, this is Catherine, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Swords of Legion Online. A pretty nice game, honestly. Uh, so we will start with Windows, the best parameter to run this game. And after that, we will go inside of the game. You have a lot of different parameters that you can change to make sure that you optimize your game. So the first one is the game mode. Write game mode in your search bar. Make sure that your game mode is at on. Really important. After that, go with Xbox Game Bar. Make sure that your Xbox Game Bar is at off. And also make sure that you don't use any overlay, Discord overlay, AMD, NVIDIA, and stuff like that. It's causing stuttering in this game, so remove those. After that, for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and the recorded audio is at off. So that's about it for those parameters. If you have an NVIDIA video card, 1000 series or more recent, uh, you can definitely write GPU in your search bar, open your graphics setting. You will have a, a, a feature called hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you have the latest version of Windows to have, of Windows, sorry, to have that. And uh, yeah, activate it, re restart your computer to apply it. And it will normally give you like a nice 2 to 3% boost in your FPS. I don't think it's currently working for AMD card, but for sure it's coming. One last mention is about like your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver, AMD, NVIDIA or Intel. Go on their website, make sure that you update it. Don't use the one that Windows will give you with the uh, update driver. It's more like a driver to make sure that you're you're seeing like your image on your monitor. It's not for video games, so really important to download on their website, depending on the graphic card that you have. Uh, and also, if you're using a laptop, look at your uh, software, whatever uh, brand that you have. Make sure that you run a energy plan, something like balance or high performance. Really important. Don't use the eco mode. You will lose a lot of FPS because you will not uh, use the maximum uh, power of your CPU and GPU. Uh, eco mode should be when you're playing on your battery, for an example. But when you plug in the wall, make sure that you're running a proper energy plan. Uh, another thing that you can look is for your uh, video card, AMD or uh, nvidia go to your control panel you also have a plan an energy plan for your uh, graphic card go to manage 3d go down over here you see that the power management mode make sure that you re you use the prefer maximum performance really important over here it will help you with your fps so now let's go inside of the game so now the graphic parameter let's go to system setting so first of all, let's start with general. The first thing that you need to do is in resolution, make sure that you're playing full screen. By default, uh, they took my native resolution, but it was not in full screen and I was losing a lot of FPS and I was like getting stuttering. So really important to use the full screen mode. After that, rendering scale, honestly, just go with 100%. If after all that my guide, you're still struggling, like for example, to get your 60, you can definitely go at 95 or 90%, but uh, under that, you will see that your image quality decreases a lot. Everything will go blurry and you will see pixel and stuff like that. You can limit your FPS. Me, I'm limiting at 150. I have a 144 hertz screen. So that's why I'm doing that. Uh, so really depend on what you want to do if you want to limit your FPS. For example, a good example is someone who's playing on a laptop with a 60 hertz screen. Don't unlock your FPS at 200. You will create more heat on your laptop. And after that, you will get some uh, throttling and you can have like stuttering, mini lag and some random drop because of that. So just limit it with your amount of hertz on your monitor. I recommend to deactivate the dynamic field of view over here and the intelligent depth of field. So now let's start with the graphic parameter. We will go at the top. The first one is the draw distance. Draw distance is really important in an MMO. Uh, if you're playing on the, like a mid-range computer, you can definitely play at three or even four, depending on what you, you want. Uh, Entry-level computer, even or if you have like an integrated video card, for sure, we'll, you will need to go at two or even one. Uh, don't go too crazy with this one. If you go to max, you're shredding like 25% of your FPS. So go something like this and make sure that you're using low over here. Texture really depends on your VRAM. Uh, if you have more than 4 gig of VRAM on your video card, you can max everything uh, without any problem. If you have 3 gig of VRAM, go with 4, 3, and 2. And if you have less than 2, two, three, uh, two gig, sorry, uh, go with 2, 1, 1. After that, the sunlight. I recommend to use SSR at 2. Uh, 4 to 2, you get a nice 3% boost, but only 1 when you go at off. So that's why I'm using 2. And then inclusion is 1, really important. 
uh it will really depend also on your like yourself uh, if you go very high so five to one you can get like a nice nine percent boost in your fps but your image will change a lot so look at it maybe you, sh you can go at two or three if you don't really care about like uh, ambient inclusion or even shadow go with one and it will give you a lot of fps image baselining i recommend to use this one at on after uh sorry at one after that, the shadow. This is pretty much where you can get a lot of FPS. If you go to minimum for everything, honestly, you can get like 12 to 15% boot on your FPS. A lot of people, like with a mid-range video card, you will run this game at high and just go to shadow and put those one at one and you will have a decent amount of FPS. This is pretty much where you will get your FPS. So if you want to have like sh better shadow quality, you can definitely go up with it. But this is pretty much where you can get a nice boost in your FPS. After that, vegetation, I recommend to use two over here. I didn't see a difference in my FPS when you go at off. Tree quality, 2 to 1, I'm getting a nice 3% boost in my FPS. And after that, you have the grass density, a little bit different. You can go crazy with 10, you will lose a lot of FPS. So entry level, go something between 1 and 3. If you're, you're playing on the mid-range computer, you can go 5 to 6. Really important here, when you test the game, yes, you can test it. Like when you're alone in the map and stuff, you will see that you have a decent amount of FPS. But when you're starting to see a lot of people and a lot of people is fighting, you're seeing effect and stuff like that, you will see that you're getting a huge drop in your FPS. So really like look at when you're fighting with a lot of people to make sure that uh, you're getting a proper amount of FPS. For the wave, this one is a bit tricky. On my uh, desktop, I don't have any issue to go with two, but uh, I'm lagging on my laptop with this one. So, uh, and my laptop is not powerful. I got like a an old i5 with the GTX 1050. So definitely go with one with waves if you're playing on an old laptop. It helped me a lot when I was like looking at water. Tessellation, you can definitely go with two with this one. And SSR True Shadow, go with one over here. Another 4% boost in your FPS. Cloud quality, this one, again, nice boost over here. 3 to 2, 4%. 2 to 1, uh, 3%. Uh, boost in your fps so it really depends on where you want to go what you need me i'm playing normally at two but uh for sure on my laptop i'm putting this one at one special effect particle quality you can definitely go with something like two or three i didn't see a big difference honestly with the very low so three feel like a good spot uh you're not taking too much like fps and uh you're getting like a nice uh, special effect when you're playing but soft particle make sure that you put this one at one Volumetric lighting, this one uh, can hit a lot of your FPS. It, do it doesn't hit my desktop too much, but on my laptop, uh, I'm getting a lot of FPS with this one. So if I go one and one over here, I'm getting a nice 7% boost in my FPS. So definitely go with this if you're struggling with your FPS. After that, for the post plot processing, if you like Bloom, you can go definitely two or three. If you don't like it, just remove it. Depth of field, remove that. You don't want to use that. And after that, for anti-aliasing, it really depends. You can get like a nice 5 to 6%. Um, for me, honestly, in this game, anti-aliasing at 1 doesn't bother me too much. I don't see too much line breaking. but uh, and, and it will stabilize your FPS. But if you don't like that, you can definitely add the, the anti-aliasing. But I feel like the game is a bit blurry for me. So that's why I'm not a big fan of uh, the uh, 2 option over here. So that's why I'm going with one. The last one is the soft air material. Uh, like 75% of the people, you can definitely go with two. If you're really, really like running an old computer, you will probably need to remove this one. So this is pretty much it for the graphic parameter. Honestly, the game is running well for me. Uh, even on my laptop, on Derek X11, you it's a good like API. Uh, not too much of an of issue if you're like playing on a new rig or an old rig. Um, so yeah, for me, it's really great. Again, like any MMO, when you see a lot of people in the server doing stuff, for sure you're getting a couple of drop in your FPS, but still the game is well optimized for me. So that's about it. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.